Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to start building the text editor that I described in the previous video. Um, before we get started on the code though, just a quick note about the architecture of this. So I'll be implementing this using a document view architecture where the document like holds the content of the document uh, and the view is responsible for all the user interface interaction. So the way I'm going to split this is the document part is going to be implemented in rich text kit. This is an open source library, so you'll be able to view all the code for that. And theoretically, that should be able to be reused across any kind of toolkit that wants to build a text editor. The view part of it, which is all the user interaction, will be in GUI kit, which is my closed source user interface toolkit. Uh, but I'll walk through the code that uh, we build in this part of it. Um, to be honest, the bulk of the code is going to be in rich text kit anyway. Okay, so just to show you what I've got so far, I'll just run this project. Okay, so this white area is this new text editor view that I've started on, and we've got a flashing caret and a mouse cursor. So just terminology, caret refers to this flashing insertion point, cursor refers to the mouse cursor. Um, now, there's a few subtle behaviors here that um, I'll just cover off. So the first is that the caret stops flashing when it's moving. Okay, so that's one thing we need to implement. And then the other is that the cursor, so this iBeam cursor, disappears whenever you type. Okay, so you can't actually type yet, but if I press keys, I've got it hiding the cursor and it comes back when it moves. Okay, so there the, that's the basic interactions that I've implemented so far, the flashing caret not flashing while it's moving and the cursor disappearing. So just let's have a quick look at the code. Okay, so text editor view, this is a GUI kit view. A view is GUI kit's equivalent of a window or a widget if you like. Um, it's pretty basic at the moment. The render mode I've set up is rasterized. This just controls how GUI kit renders the view and tells it to keep the content of this view in an off-screen bitmap. Uh, the reason for that is that we don't want to have to redraw the text every time the cursor flashes on and off. So that layer of the rendering is kept rasterized and the caret view, which we'll come to in a minute, is painted on top. Got a white background, takes focus, and we've got a caret view, which is a sub view we'll come to in a second. Got some uh, event notification handlers here. Basically, this is just setting the cursor. Drawing will handle later. Focus presence changed indicates that the view's either lost or received focus so we just hide the carrot in that case so just run this again just to show you sorry can't do that while it's full screen so you can see no flashing carrot carrot flashing so all we do to implement that is we just uh, remove that carrot sub view uh, when we don't have focus so that will be in the update carrot function we'll come to Pointer event, we're just looking for a mouse move and we're setting the cursor to visible. So that reshows it if it was hidden. Key event, I've just got a couple of left right here which are just moving the caret position and then replacing the caret view. This here is um, the caret can also operate in italic mode where it appears on a slope. So I'll just run to show you that. This is just test code, control I just toggles it into italic mode. So you can see that there, it's on a slope. Uh, makes it easier to uh, tell where the caret is exactly on italic text, especially when it's small. Okay, update caret just either removes the caret view from the from the text editor view, or if it's if focus is present, then it sets up the italic flag, sets the position of the caret, and then adds it as a sub view if it's not already. Okay, and then some cursor management stuff. So this is just hiding and showing the cursor, and we either set an I-beam cursor or a blank cursor, uh, depending on whether we want to show a cursor at the moment. Okay, so that's the text editor view. The caret view is the little blinking caret that we showed. Again, render mode in this case is direct so that it doesn't get composited into its parent text editor view. That's that paint optimization. We've got a color, caret width, italic flag. Um, on host change just means that the view's been added or removed. So when it's removed, we stop and dispose our timer that we're using for the flash. When it's attached, we create a new timer just using the caret blink time, which is a, I think this maps to a win32 get caret blink time function. Hit test function just makes this view transparent for clicks and cursor testing. 
So um, as far as um, so, so basically you don't want to be able to click on the carrot view itself. That should click through to the underlying uh, text editor. Draw function. Uh, if flash is currently off, then we don't need to draw anything because there is nothing to draw. If it's in italic mode, we use sphere sharp to draw from the top right to the bottom left of the frame rectangle. And if it's a vertical, we just use a fill rectangle. This is the more typical path, and GUI Kit can actually render this a bit more easily. So this is kind of the optimized path. Frame change just means the carrot's been moved. We just reset the timer effectively. This is the flash handler. Just toggle the flash flag and redraw. And reset just makes sure the carrot is currently shown and reset the timer. So every time the carrot moves, we call this, and this stops it flashing while it's moving. OK, just to show um, this a bit more clearly, if I, if I just put a background on the carrot view and switch to italic mode, you'll be able to see exactly where the carrot is placed. Just make it a bit bigger. OK, so you can see that's the carrot view there. And you can see the eye beam is preserved across that view because the hit testing is passing through to the underlying view. Okay, so that's it for this first video. The um, It's pretty basic functionality, but it's kind of essential. It's kind of the distinguishing feature of a text editor in some ways. And um, in the next video, I will start on the document side of things, see if we can get some text in here and get the carrot interacting with it. Okay, um, as always, comments and feedback on Twitter is probably best at Top 10 Software. Thanks, guys. Bye.